What up y'all and welcome back to the channel Dap Universal, I'm Dap So, coming back at you with an impromptu Pick a card reading um, It was just on my mind, I felt called to do it Don't give a fuck If this don't get no views or not Because I'm posting it when it's done Right, I'm posting it when it's done It may be a little bit late, but you know what It ain't about a schedule right now It's not about um, the best methods of, of, of like Gaining a, a, a viewership This is about me doing creative work just for the sake of create creation when I feel like it and this is about um the late night thoughts about you it's kind of late right now and um I was thinking like what am I grateful for I'm grateful for this day today is today is Thanksgiving like what am I thankful for I'm thankful for the fact that I found these bomb ass like cute little cards with five dollars at five below if you got a five below in your area um, they restocked um, a lot of their, um, I guess their, their Christmas inventory. So one of the things that that they uh, had a had a lot of um, had a lot of stock was uh, spiritual stuff. I'm talking crystals, all kinds of stuff. And they had this cute little kawaii tarot deck for five bucks. I mean, come on. So I had to get it. And then just walking around town, there's a, there's a bookstore close to where I live. I found these for like $7, the Pleasure Oracle. So I want to give them a try. I want to I wanna play with these cards. So, And I want to do it now, and I don't care. So um, I felt like doing it. And, and what was, and what better than to do it on um, my little painting that I did uh, last week with these lips? I mean, it, just, it just all fit. So this is more so, um, this is for y'all, but uh, the... The energy I'm feeling is like something I just needed to do. Like I, I authentically, I needed to do it. Hopefully it finds who it needs to find. I don't care if it's two people, like let's have fun. So this is their late night thoughts about you. So you're gonna pick between these three pals, as you can see, you're not gonna be seeing my ugly face today. You're gonna be seeing the cards. But pile number one is gonna be the two of cups. The two of cups. Pile number two. The Two of Swords. And pile number three, The Two of Wands. So not much of an intro. Um, if you're watching this when it's filmed, I, I do have a, um, a sale going on um, from now until um, November the 28th. Uh, you can get um, a reading from me, a private reading um, on any topic you want for $13. No, I think, no, I'm sorry, $12. I think it's 12, it's 12 or 13. I think it's $12. It's 12 bucks. Um, there's a link to how to do that in the description if you want to sign up for that. Spots are limited, guys. So if you really um, uh, feel like you're drawn to my energy, or if you feel like uh, interested in it, <clears throat> go ahead and sign up um, while we can. But uh, this is a timeless reading. But um, go ahead and pause the video if you need to. And um, yeah, I'll go ahead and see you at your piles. Bye for now. What up, pile number one? If you chose the two of cups, welcome to your reading. So this is what are their late night thoughts about you? And when I mean late night thoughts, I mean like um, the, 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 the thoughts that keep them up at night, tossing and turning, hot and bothered, um, fantasizing, wondering um, where you at and why ain't you in the bed, baby? Um, <laughs> being silly. But no, really, um, this is about how uh, they may find you to be um, irresistible or attractive. Like this is somebody, of course, who um, is naturally attracted to your energy. So that's not a question. Um, but the two of cups, I'm getting like y'all are very much like like you and your person or the, or the person that, that I'm describing or I'm talking about or I'm tapped into, I guess. Um, you and the, this person are very similar. You're very similar. Um, it's like you, you give me the feeling um, of being like soulmates. Um, that kind of thing. It's like I wouldn't say like twin flames or like karmics, like that kind of thing. So I feel like there's a there's a there's a level of polarity um, to those connections. Though y'all are alike. Like if y'all were the same sign or had the same moon sign or Venus, it's like y'all. It it would make sense. It doesn't strike me as like a connection that has a whole lot of polarity to it. It's almost like y'all are um, damn near the same. <laughs> y'all are very very similar. It's like. Um, Y'all may already be a couple. You may have already spent a lot of time together or something like that where like you're already finishing each other's sentences. Like you know each other very, very well. And you just, you, you go together. You get each other. You come from the same soul tribe. This isn't like a heavy situation. This is like something that feels right. Even if this is just sexual and you're not really like together with this person, it's like um, when it comes down to like what you like and what, how you um, kind of move, um, like 
what, what what turns you on is like it it, it it clicks it clicks there's no real tabooness to it but it's like intuitively you both really um you both really understand each other and i feel like y'all may both be like water signs or something like that you could both be water signs we have a lot of water placements in a chart this is a very emotional connection too um it's not just sexual but it's like intuitively you know how to please the other person and that's what they love about you that's what keeps them um coming back or or, or fantasizing about you is like the fact that they ain't got to tell you what they like you just um, it's like you tap in and you do them things that that, that 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 they that just drives them wild without them having to say anything it's like the way you, it's like you flick that tongue a certain way you flick that wrist a certain way and they ain't got to tell you what to do they just like they just sit back and like let you do you you know what i'm saying it's like, and, and it's a, a, it's like, that's almost magical to them. It's like, I ain't got to give you no direction, bitch. Yeah, that's where we at. I'm going to pull you um, some of these uh, Island Time Love Oracles, see what comes up. All right, tap into pile number one. Um, what are the late night fantasies about you? The sword and the rose. And it says, clarity, truth, revelation, solidarity, force, honor, protection, and power. It's like saying... And, and I feel like some things don't need to be said. It's like there's a certain level of like understanding between you two that just can't be even explained. It's like you just know. You just know. And you know it's real. Um, you could also be air signs and have some air, air placements or something like that. It's about being, a, it's like an honest partnership. Even if it's like, say, y'all aren't like together, together um, or like committed or whatever. It's like saying, um, we know what it is. We know the truth. Ain't nobody playing no games. We know exactly what this works for us, whatever it is. Pull you a couple more. Not trying to shake the camera. Woo! Okay. Uh, I said I only get twin flame vibes. Twin flames comes out. It says a yin and yang, zen balance, union, duality, coupling, complement each other. Mhm, mm mhm, mm mhm, mm mhm. Mm All right. You know what? Since the the camera's facing that way, I'm, I'm gonna put it your way is that is that more thoughtful <laughs> i guess it's more thoughtful right all right and then the last one is soulmates wow what the fuck okay didn't see that coming <laughs> i really didn't see that coming um soul connection partnership agreement soul contract so you have the sword in the rose twin flames and soulmates can't make this up all right fine <laughs> just prove me the fuck wrong shut me the fuck up okay i hear you um, <clears throat> before we get into the tarot, there is this deck that I, I, I haven't tried them out for real, um, but it's called the, uh, the Pleasure Oracles. And it, and it works through, like, say, um, anything sex. It's not, it's not inherently dirty. It's not dirty, it, it, but it does um, go there from the few cards that I've read. And I haven't seen but, like, a few cards out of this deck, so I literally just got it today. So we're just going to pull one. We're going to pull one and then uh, get the vibe of, like, what is this? Um, connection between you two. What is the main energy um, sexually? The thing that, that, that you got right. Uh, maybe uh, energy that you find just like with this person, like it just clicks or something like that. Woo! All right, I'm gonna pull one of these. I feel like it's this one. I don't know what it is. Putting these back. It's the card that we pulled. And it says, <clears throat> the temple of love. Cultivating a deeper and stronger capacity for love through contemplation, for example, in meta or loving kindness meditation, is a daily discipline, but doesn't necessarily mean drudgery. Establishing a consistent routine for both your head, heart, and your physical surroundings can and should be joyful and inspiring. The actions here are to make a sensual cave or a refreshing oasis of your intimate spaces. Turn your bedroom into a temple of love. Filling it with only the most heart expanding, lush and, ex and emotionally stirring items like colors, textures, smells, and sounds that you have access to. Make it optically obvious to yourself that your life is a devotional practice inside and out. So this is like the gushy, ushy, romantic, like fucking vibes I'm getting. Um, so the Temple of Love, this this very much gives me like water sign vibes, like 
some super duper romantics like okay like like think Valentine's Day we got the um we got the plastic furry handcuffs we got the cheap heels to match we got the lingerie we got the whole get up going we got the it's like it gives me like we're we're pretending to be freaks <laughs> It's like it's not it's not the whips and chains and shit. It's like the it's like the the love stuff party city type like like kind of kinky trashy vibes in a sense. It's like it's almost like um, comical. Like it's it's like what you think uh, what you think like people in a sitcom would would would, would think of as like fe- like fetishy or like kinky, right? It's, it's, it's very much toned down. It's, it doesn't give me vibes of like just nasty, like call me names, pull my hair, yeah, yeah, yeah. It don't, it don't give me that unless it's what y'all do. But it's like it's almost like a, it's, it's, it's almost, it's almost like, ch- not want to say childish when we talk about a sex read, but it's like it, it doesn't give me like wild and crazy antics. It doesn't. It gives me real sweet and subdued. Okay, real sweet and subdued. But I'm gonna leave this card somewhere over here. But now we're going to get into the tarot. So going back to that cute as fuck um, uh, kawaii tarot. I don't know, I just love it. I think it's so cute. But get into the energy. I don't have a particular spread. I'm just going just to free, just freestyle it. I don't know where I'm going. I'm just asking the question, um, Pile One, uh, what are the late night thoughts about you? Power one with the late night thoughts. So the late night thoughts about power one. Woo! The king of wands in reverse. They can't control themselves, baby boo. They cannot control themselves. The king of wands, that's a very masculine energy too. So um, it doesn't matter what your gender is, but it gives me vibes like somebody who just want to like, 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 ravish you somebody who just want to like i want to fuck all the time bitch i want to fuck all the time i want to fuck what i want to fuck i want i'll I'll, like i want to be i want to have access to this all the time please tell me i can do this all the time like kind of shit give me permission to do this all the time um and it's like it's very generous too it's not selfish either it's like it may want it all the time but the king of wands energy is like leo energy it's a little bit performative sometimes it may it may be doing the most sometimes but it's like saying they they're very generous. They're going to make sure that you get off too. And probably they want to get you off before they get off. It makes them feel good to know that they did that. It makes them feel like, why well, am I getting accomplished just by getting you off before them or something like that? Um, what are pile number one's late night thoughts about... I'm sorry, what is pile number one's person's late night thoughts about them? What are their late night thoughts? What turns them on? Woo! The Ten of Swords, and since this one to come out, Ten of Swords in reverse, the Three of Swords in reverse. Something about, okay, take this how it resonates. This is for somebody, it's like, you may be dealing with somebody who um, say, they may not want to commit or they it took them a long time to commit if you are if you are in a relationship but it's like saying um they feel like in the past if they was like a player type energy or like someone who like who who like couldn't stay faithful got like got around like didn't want to be um didn't want to be tied down it's like saying meeting you it's like it's like saying if i would have met you earlier or sooner like i would have never cheated on my ex i would have never done that shit. it's like i'm satisfied baby i'm good it's like if i it, like i'm good and it's like saying, I don't want, I never want to fuck this up. The three of swords in reverse is like saying, I don't want to hurt, I don't want to fuck this up. I wouldn't cheat, cheating on you would be cheating on my fucking self. So if like y'all are in commitment and, and I feel like this is the part I probably already know, like your person ain't really looking for nobody else, they into you, but it's like saying, um, if you want that confirmation again, it's like, nah, I, I, don't, I don't want nobody else. Like you keep me satisfied at home. But um, let's clarify some stuff because that ten of swords in reverse is also kind of tricky to me. I ain't gonna lie. So why the Ten of Swords in reverse? Two of Spades. Four. Okay. And it's like saying, it may be, then you may have, okay, so y'all getting together, coming to a place where y'all can actually be sexual together or if like, if this is even an option. I feel like this is like, I feel like y'all have had sex before. This is like tons of sex. I was keeping this open, but I feel like if y'all ain't had sex yet, this is not your pile because this gives me the vibe, y'all be fucking on the regular. Like, you got this person, 
whipped. Um, it's like saying uh, at a certain point they had to start. They they was chasing you or something like that. It was like it was hard. You was hard to nab. It was hard to catch at a certain point. You didn't believe the bullshit they were saying. It's like you you felt that player energy or something like that. You didn't believe them. You made them work for it or some shit is what I'm hearing. And like because of that, they know your value, your worth. And I don't think they ever gonna like let that let that go. I say that because the four of spades is like um, the four of uh, wands to me, which is being grateful. It's gratitude. It's like winning the prize. The two of um, sort of like making that decision. You made you, you, they made a decision to go after you, and you finally made the decision to accept them. The um, the knight of clubs or the knight of wands is like that the energy of like I'm, I'm trying to I'm chasing something. I'm trying to it's like adventurous, going after real hard about something. Um, and three of swords and verses like I don't want to fuck that up. But I'm um, really um, this was supposed to be a real long reading. That's all I really got for you. This is a late night thoughts about you. But um, sound off in the comments. Let me know how this resonates. Subscribe to the channel if you like this kind of content. Let me know if you like this kind of format. Just like, uh, whatever. But remember, guys, if you got spirit, what spirit got you? Blessings in all we do. Bye. What up, pal number two? If you chose the two of swords out this cute ass deck, the Kawaii Tarot. Um, thank you and welcome to your read. So we're looking at what are they late night thoughts about you, baby boo. Now this ain't gotta resonate with you, but this may be somebody who I'm getting the same sex. Yes, I'm looking at them two swords like two dicks rubbing together. Judge me not. It don't mean that that's your story. It ain't gotta be your don't 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 click off if it ain't you. Yes. <laughs> I'm just saying, somebody in this motherfucker rubbing dicks together. Your man may be on the down, I'm just playing. <laughs> let me stop. <laughs> let me stop. Stop. <clears throat> no, for real, for real. No, okay, so I'm feeling like intuitively, for some real shit, like for some reason I feel like y'all may have been on again, off again, like toxic type energy in the sense of like, maybe I may be broken up, maybe I'll date it and y'all just fit, realize like maybe y'all just don't fit together sometimes, but, but the thing that does fit is the sex, baby. The sex. Um, the sex is good. <laughs> But um, but when you're not having sex, when you're not naked, it may feel like, damn, like we just really don't get along or some shit like that. It's argumentative or like hard to make a decision. Maybe this person, um, maybe one of y'all don't really want to commit. Maybe neither one of y'all want to commit. Maybe it's an open relationship. There's something quirky about the connection. I'll leave it at that. It's like you may be dealing with a fuck boy who just know how to put it down or some shit like that. I don't know. I don't know. But um, it's giving me the vibes of like somebody that's like kind of like not together. <laughs> But I am gonna um, pull you some cards out of this uh, Alan Tom Wellness Love Oracle. See what comes out so I get more uh, clarification or um, understanding about what this connection is. You may be air signs, particularly dealing with a Libra. You may be both air signs or something like that. But uh, I get a lot of air energy, a lot of being in your head about shit and, um, and not really um, connecting to the emotions. Okay, we have wedding rings. Some of y'all may be married. Maybe one, maybe one of y'all is married and the other one's not. Maybe married to other people. I don't know. I don't know. Wedding rings. It says union, wedding, married, soul connection, eternal love, everlasting promise. Everlasting promise. All right. Whoo. Okay. Too many cards came out. I'm trying to pick three guys. I was on three cards for pile number two. I uh, was a late night thoughts about you. I said three, goddammit. Not taking any of those. Whoop, there we go. There's one. Hammer. Sabotage. Rebuilding. Interrogation. Repetitive. Persistent. Working on it. Tear it down to build it right back up. That repetitive kind of comes to mind. It's like on again, off again kind of shit. Um, Self sabotaging the relationship in a sense. I don't know. All right, one more. Uh, what are the number of two's late night thoughts? What are your person's late night thoughts about you? Pal number two. Them sexy ass thoughts. Them hot and bother thoughts, baby. What they be thinking about? What they lusting about? Heartbroken. Uh-oh. Deeply hurt, sad, separation, breakup, feeling lost, grieving, and mourning. So some of y'all may not be in communication with this person, um, but they still thinking about that sex they just want to put it that's like can you just fuck me one more time just one more time please i'll leave you alone just give it to me one more time i'll be i'll, I'll promise i'll be good oh it's giving me oh it's giving me like toxic vibes 
Um, but for real though, what y'all, it's like, I feel like this could be the energy with like, it says mar- uh, wedding rings, y'all may be married, take it how it resonates, but I feel like maybe one person may have been married, maybe divorced, maybe still married to somebody, and like, y'all fucking on the side. I feel like um, y'all all on again, off again, one minute you throw with each other, next minute y'all in bed with each other, it's like, what the fuck are we doing? Type energy, we don't even know. Um, but let's pull a few cards out this, um, oh, actually I want to pull you a card out of, uh, out of this deck that I just got. Um, it's the Pleasure Oracle. Pleasure Oracle. It's not inherently dirty, but it does speak of, um, say, all types of like um, sexual energy. And I do want to pull one of them for you to see maybe like what what is it that that, that you get right in the bed? Like what is it that you get right um, in your in your sexual energy together? When, when you come together, like what's unique about it? What is inherently y'all's signature? You know, when it comes down to uh, making love. What is it about pile number two that drives them crazy? What, what, what's their late night thoughts? Woo! All right, so this is what you pull. And all the, um, the backs of the cards have uh, different um, artistic graphics on them. But this is what came out for you. And it says, what turns you on? So much of our identity formation is determined by a list of likes and dislikes. We know our favorite foods and how they're best cooked. We know our preferred skin routine and the itinerary of our perfect date. We often grow up perfecting our signatures and even picking our favorite children's names. Okay, so the action. What about our fetishes? If you can't instantly list the scenarios, styles, positions, or props of your ideal sexual encounters, then that's okay. We mustn't judge individuals for social problems. However, it is up to us individuals to address those problems. So what turns you on? Make an extensive list. If, if you're not sure, it's time to find out. So something about um, keeping an open mind, like the, what they love about you is that they feel like they can completely be their uninhibited, nasty, raw stuff. They can talk nasty to you, they can slap you, they can spit in your mouth, they can like call you a bitch and a slut and a whore and your mama too. And like you may like kind of be into it. It's a very mental type energy, like it gives me like very much Gemini vibes for some reason. Like, um, it, it's very verbal, it's very cerebral, it's very much let me build a fantasy for you. It's like let me cross some stuff off my fantasy list because I know you're gonna take me there. So, if they are the type that are married, right. The other type that are uh, married, I feel like maybe um, their sex life in that marriage is like dry as fuck. And, um, and it's like, you just do it for them. It's like, even if it's like not an emotional connection, it's like, you take them there, baby. It's like, you ain't afraid to like, um, turn them out. It's like, you turn this motherfucker out. Uh, I do feel like this is, this, like, like, this is also a connection where it's like, if, if, if y'all aren't actually sleeping with each other, this may not be your ring, your pile, just go ahead, click off. Um, because I feel like this is this is a situation where it's like I feel like it takes a certain amount of familiar um, familiarity to get to this point, and I feel like the vibes I'm picking up on, all the vibes I'm picking up on, it's like y'all been around this block before with each other, y'all been down this this road with each other. Um, it ain't it ain't no it ain't no guessing game. It's like and it's like if they do want to explore something, it's like there's no hesitation to saying, okay, well, let's just do it. Maybe the fact that there aren't, there may not be emotional strings um, to the connection, which makes it easier to be like your freakiest, freakiest self. It's like, who am I, like, what am I afraid of? It's like, what I got to be fucking embarrassed about? You got a whole motherfucker at home. Like, so, so like, all right, turn up, turn this, turn it up a notch. Maybe, maybe both of y'all find, find it hard to be like completely uninhibited when um, you're with other partners, but when you're with each other, it's like, there's a, there's an agreement there that we can go there with each other and we trust each other enough to. It's like, it's like even if you may not get along a, a lot, if that's your story, um, outside the bedroom, it's like when you're in, that, when you're in the, the bedroom, it's like you are in a sacred arena. It's like, baby, um, I trust you, you trust me, take me there and I'll go with you, motherfucker. Like, it's nice. All right, so um, what are pile number, um, what are pile number two's person's late night thoughts about them? The star, clarified by the chariot in reverse. Something about it, it's like, it's ethereal. It's like, the connection is like, it, it feels otherworldly when y'all, it's like when, when, when them parts come together, when them ugly start a bumping, 
Um, it's like you you get taken somewhere else. It's like something about the sex is transcendent. Um, it's like nothing matters. No, nothing in the world even exists. But you two in that moment that just stands still. It's beautiful. And um, in this cute ass deck, the star card comes up. And what's interesting about this deck to me is um, in this star card, uh, you see the you see the the green star, which is like laughing and giggling and shit, like it's a happy star. And then you have the red star, which is like an angry face. It's like saying something about it. It's like it may be wrong. It may feel wrong, but it's like in the moment, fuck it. It's right for now. It's like I don't give a fuck. It's like. The only thing that matters, the only thing that, 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 that's beautiful right now is what we're doing. But the Chariot Inverse comes up and it's saying like, um, <sighs> it's bittersweet to, to, to y'all because it's like saying, I feel like once it's over, it's like saying we go back to reality and who wants to go back there? It's like, it feels like we're going backwards in a sense. It's like, if we could stay in this place forever sometimes, it's suspended in that energy when it's, 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 this is more than sex. Even if it's dirty, raunchy sex, it's like it's saying this is more than sex to this person. Even if y'all aren't emotionally clicking right now, or even if, even if you are, whatever. It's like it's like sex is more than sex with y'all. This is like this is like how y'all um, come to an equal uh, equal battleground. This is this is how y'all come on equal territory. Um, this is how y'all feel uh, the most at peace in each other's energy is when you're butt naked doing nasty. <laughs> All right, that's interesting. The Empress. And baby, when it feels good, it feels good. It always feels good. The Empress is that Venus energy. It's, it's, that, it's, it's pleasure. It's engaging the senses. It's like taste, touch, feel, um, sound, smell, all of that. It, it gets ignited. It's like y'all um, don't just, um, y'all just don't fulfill one part of the spectrum when it comes down to the, this person's pleasure. It's all of it. And I also feel like they, they have a, a desire to, to make you feel good as well. If you're the empress, um, wherever you fall in that spectrum, it's like saying they take care of a motherfucker. It's like they, they expect to be taken care of, but also in that same, um, in that same energy, uh, you, you, they take care of you. They treat you like, like the empress, like the queen of queens. Um, how does, uh, Pile number two's person feel about them in the bedroom? What, what are they late night thoughts about them? Well, this is the one that didn't flip over the other way, so I'm, I'm grab this. The three of swords in reverse. That's interesting. That's the same exact card in the same exact position in reverse as pile number one. But, um,. No matter what's going on outside the bedroom, what's going on in, in the real world, when um, y'all put your clothes back on, whether y'all are a couple, whether you're not, whatever ha whatever it is, um, it's like they don't want anything to fuck this energy up. They, they always want to have this. It's like even even if you like their dirty little secret, even if even if um, it does, even if this if it's not like that, but like they know and you know that it'll never amount to more than just these fleeting moments. Um, in each other's arms, it's like that's worth it to them to at least always have you in that capacity. They want to fuck your brains out. That's all I got for you. Sound off in the comments. Let me know how this resonated. If it resonated, subscribe to the channel if you ain't already. And remember, if you got spirit, what? Spirit got you. Blessings in all we do. Bye. What up, pal number three? If you chose the two of wands, welcome to your reading. So let's go ahead and get into it. Um, this is uh, what are they late night thoughts about you? What turns this motherfucker on about you? Um, so off the bat, I'm kind of getting like hot and heavy energy. This is like maybe like y'all just met or some shit like that. Maybe like this could be like somebody that you kind of had like a one night stand with, pal number three. And you can't get this motherfucker off your mind. And you want they feel the same way. I think they do. Um, uh, it's, it's like, or, or even if you do know each other, it's like, it, it feels like the energy is always like hot and heavy. Like there's a heavy sense of attraction um, with, with y'all. It's like, and, and, and there is a sense of polarity to you. You may be kind of opposites. I'm kind of picking up with this red, um, this red and this green wand. Uh, those are contrasting colors, opposites, right? Um, so it's like, I feel like there's, there's a certain polarity to you. So um, y'all could be opposite signs. Like, um, say if, if, if you're like a Taurus, they could be, um, say the opposite of that was like a Scorpio energy or like a Leo and Aquarius. 
that kind of thing. But um, I feel like in this in this case, opposites do attract, and maybe um, maybe it's, it's it's like that 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 spark or whatever it is that that, that makes y'all um, really really drawn to each other. It's like it's almost like can't keep my hands to myself type type of energy. Like both of y'all are very very attracted. Um, okay, pulling your um, cards out this love oracle, on time love oracles. So the first card that just blew out is keys on a ring. Many options, decisions, unconventional, string along, one night stand. Like I just said, one night stand. Could be. Maybe even if y'all are like more established, it's like it, 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 you planned on it just, just being like a hookup and like, damn, the shit was so good. I could, I, shit, fuck. Like, <laughs> Ended up turning into a relationship. I've had a couple of those. Like one night stands ended up being like a move in boyfriend type situation. Like, okay. Um, <laughs> take what resonates. All right, two more cards for me, please. Um, what is pile number three's person's turn ons? What drives them crazy? So the camera, reminiscing, keepsake, perception, learning from the past, make memories. Also, something, okay, fuck with this card, say, Something about filming, like if, if y'all got like OnlyFans and like y'all just like to record yourselves and watch that shit later, like I, I, I get vibes like somebody's you know sucking dick and taking pictures of it and stuff. Like it's like doing kinky shit um, because it's like the shit's so good. I want to I want to see this later. I want I want to have something for the spank bank. They said <laughs> not the spank bank. All right, okay, whatever. But I do get a sense of like wanting to film it or something like that. Taking pictures, sending nudes. All right, last card, we have boat. Receiving what you need, progression, arriving, moving on, closure issues. Um, also, kind of like pile number two, um, this could be like an ex situation or somebody that you don't really have an interest in like dating on a romantic level, but it's like, because I mean, I do feel like maybe y'all opposites, maybe just you don't fit into each other's world. This is for some of y'all, take what resonates. But um, but we, we can fuck though. We can we can do that. We can do that. We can do that. Um, also, there may be a long distance thing, like a distance thing, so we can, you don't see them all the time. So when you do see them, man, we we don't see most. We, fuck, we don't fucking say hello later. Like you open the door, already already jumping the bones. It's like already already getting it in. We'll catch up in a minute, okay? <laughs> we'll talk in a minute. Like okay, I feel that. <laughs> But, um, okay, so I want to pull um, another Oracle card, just one, out of this new deck I got. It's called the Pleasure Oracle. I, I found this on sale um, today walking around town. Um, it's not an overtly sleazy um, deck, but it is, it is highly sexual, and it goes there. Um, so what I want to look at uh, is maybe what, in the highest vibration... Not, not even high as a region. What, what, in, in its best light, what, what draws you two to each other, like sensually? What is it? Put it into words. What is it? And I haven't gone through all these cards, so I have no idea what's in this deck for real. I only seen like a few cards. Woo! All right. What's pile number three's person's late night fantasies about them? What keeps them up? All right, so this is the one you pull. They all have different um, designs on the back of the cards. They all have really different um, artistic designs on the back. This is one you pulled and it says, sharpen your erotic intelligence. Erotic intelligence coined by Dr. Esther Peril means valuing and cherishing your excitement more than you value and cherish the rules. It means seeking the sublime in every day would be mundane moments. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. It says it means seeking the sublime in every day would be mundane moments. It means transcending the ordinary through the imagination. Action. You are the star of the sensual film noir. You are a dashing romantic adventurer. You create your perspective and your grand narrative. So write your own story. Listen, even document your whoa, document your present or plot your future. Don't just look to another to unlock passion. Only you yourself hold the key. No one's your mind reader and your or your savior. Meet them halfway with erotic as well as emotional intelligence. For some reason, it isn't really mention it, so to speak, but I still get in the fact that y'all want to film the shit, <laughs> like directing the shit, like action. 
cut <laughs> kind of shit. Um, I don't know if y'all, I mean, if you do that on all that, shit, I ain't knocking it, but it's like, that's really interesting. All right, so this is about um, at least one of y'all, maybe both of y'all being very much tapped into your sexual energy. It's like, it, baby, if you know you the shit, when it comes down to being sexy, if you know you're good at being sexy or playing sex kitten, um, you, you wear it on your sleeve. It's like, baby, I, I play that, I know that role. I created that role. Type cast me, baby. Like, that's me. I know I'm turning you on right now. I'm gonna make you, I'm gonna look back at it. I'm gonna look back at it and then watch, and then watch how you look at me, look back at it. It's like, it's okay, I'm getting Leo vibes. <laughs> I'm getting Leo, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus vibes. <laughs> Heavy. Wow. Okay. Performative. <laughs> Um, something about y'all put on a show and it's not it's not inherently trying to be performative It's just like that's how you fuck you put y'all into it and you and, and you want it You want you want it to be a production and some about it like maybe they do too It's like they appreciate that. It's like they, they appreciate the production value that you bring to this motherfucker. Okay <laughs> You may appreciate the storytelling elements that you bring to this. Okay, you may be real good with role playing All right, so we have the will of fortune and justice Right place right time is what I'm getting, right place, right time. And it's a lot of good sex, it's a lot of sex. When you when you do have the time and you do end up being in each other's energy, y'all have a lot of motherfucking sex, a lot of um, exaggerated sex too, with the Wheel of Fortune. Um, you may have just met this person. As it's being filmed, we are like, like barely into Sagittarius season. I see the Wheel of Fortune is Jupiter energy, which is Sagittarius, Sagittarius season. Just leaving um, Libra season, the Justice card, right? Um, also, you could be um, Sagittarius and a, and a, and a um, Libra uh, coming together, but really it feels like the significance is um, y'all probably just met. No matter when you watch this reading, y'all may have just met. But um, what else we got? And I mean, I'm, y'all were saying fireworks. The King of Swords, Aquarius energy. And it's like, it, it's like, it, it, people who see y'all together, it's like, how does this work? Who are these people? It's like, y'all, I feel like y'all are very much opposites. Like, I felt that Leo energy with that whole, like, I'm back, like, I'm throwing it back and watching you look at me while I'm like, throwing it back, looking at me, throwing it back with a, like, this freaky deaky kind of shit. Um, that Leo has performative energy. Um, the opposite of Leo is Aquarius. So it's like, it gives me Aquarius vibes too. So, um, one more card. Let's see what comes out. Woo! Some flipped over. I tried to. Pile number three. What's the late night thoughts about you? Late night nasty thoughts. The six of cups. Okay. Even if it's like yin and yang, opposites attract, the, the, the bitch is balanced. It's balance, give and take. You like, uh huh. I ain't put, I'm not doing nothing that you ain't gonna do, baby boo. And baby, it ain't nothing I'm not gonna do to you. Like, ain't not one part of your body that I ain't gonna play with. It's like saying y'all both have a, a, a mutual agreement that, um, huh, I ain't gonna ask you to do nothing that, that I wouldn't do. But at the same time, I do a lot. <laughs> y'all nasty. Um, it's equal uh, reciprocity. It's like everybody get a, everybody get a nut. Every, everybody getting everybody getting getting their rocks off, okay? In this house, everybody come. Everybody's gonna come. Everybody's coming at this party is what it says, and I respect that. The King of Swords is very fair. I get it. I get it. I get it. It's fair. Um, it, it's it's like it's not selfish. It's it's it, it's very generous uh, on both sides. I want to get off, but I want to make sure you get off too, baby. Uh, but clarify uh, the King of Swords for me. Whoop. Four of Wands. Again, um, it's a party. They, okay, I'm getting something about, okay, for some of y'all, y'all may be into that kinky dinky, kinky dinky shit and um, having uh, orgies or like um, group sex kind of comes to mind. Group sex comes to mind. Look at all these different cups. All these different cups. They don't even belong together. The Starbucks cup is there, the plastic cup, the, the tea cup, like all the cup. Like, is, is that chip from beauty? I don't know. But it's just saying, it's, it's a lot of different cups. Y'all, y'all, y'all like the spice of life. Y'all ain't afraid to, to take it there, okay? Um, clarify the Six of Cups. The Five of Swords kind of flips over, and y'all like it rough. I feel like y'all ain't afraid, y'all be like, harder, baby. Nah, if you think you're going too hard, harder. Y'all got safe words and shit, y'all be like, P papaya. <laughs> My safe word is papaya. Okay. Woo, shit. All right, I'm not taking any of these because too many cards came out. 
Um, damn. I will take the one on top here, though. Eight of Wands. Um, yeah, I feel like things move kind of fast. Four of Cups, it's like, and you don't even expect it to last long. You feel like um, you got bigger fish to fry, or they got bigger fish to fry. It's like, we ain't, it ain't about no commitment right now. It's about having a good, nasty time. And it's not very invested, and it's not very, um, at least somebody in this energy is not very uh, committed or, or thinking about the long term. We ain't here for a long time. We're here for a good time, like me and this read. And that's all I got for you. Sound off in the comments, let me know how it resonate, pal number three. Um, if you haven't subscribed already, subscribe to the channel. If, if you don't, whatever, I don't care. But um, until next time, guys, if you got spirit, what spirit got you? Blessings and all we do. Bye. Uh, 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 yeah.